Oh, action. Oh my gosh. All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It is the Courtney Faith, and I have a guest here with me. Would you like to introduce yourself? What's up? Courtney's amazing YouTube subscribers. My name is Michael, a.k.a. Sosa. All right, guys. So today we're here, and we're going to do a boyfriend tag. Um, I've kept him a secret for some, quite some time, and we're finally coming out with it. Um, so we're gonna ask some questions and get to know our relationship a little more so you guys can see what we're all about Right cool first questions hit it. Okay, so we've known each other for about like four years right? mm -hmm. I found him on social media when I moved into my dorm at SCAD um, I was a little lonely I came yeah. across his profile. I came across the, my page. <laughs> I came across his page. I gave him a follow Yeah. didn't really think anything of it mm -hmm. <laughs> He messaged back in 0.2 seconds nope, later. Nope, nope. Tell him you slid in my DMs. <laughs> I slid in his DMs. About some food. About some Culver's. Food. Don't Any Culver lovers out there, she said that... I don't know what you said. I don't know what Culver's is, so I probably just she said that said, looks good. Mm, that Culver's looks good in your mouth. No. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's wrong. I did not say that. How did it taste? No. Uh, basically, Culver's. so... He messaged back. We just started talking every day. We became like best friends. Um, and yeah, that's how we met and how long we met each other. Bada boom, bada bang. Done. Yeah, four years. Four years. <laughs> we met a year ago. Okay, so the next question is how did we meet or like when did we meet? So we met last year. I actually came back from my trip um, in France and basically said, you trying to late or, or not? I saw him two weeks later and we became best friends over a three day span. Like yeah. it literally was like three days and I flew home but like meeting someone for the first time you think it's going to be awkward and uncomfortable and you're not you were, to talk about. She was very very nervous. I was very nervous when I first very met nervous. him but as we went on I she was, was like, more my, myself. My name is Courtney. <laughs> No, I did not. The whole car ride back home to my house, she was super quiet, super nervous. Like, I'm like, hey, like, you know, how's your flight? Good. Like, just super nervous. Okay, way to call me out. Uh, I was nervous. He made me nervous. I mean, after why, knowing why for why someone for four so years. Nervous? After knowing for someone for like four years, and then you finally meet them in person, it's just nerve wracking. Like, all the girls out there can probably like relate to that. Like, you didn't feel comfortable. If you meet a guy on Tinder, you're gonna be nervous. If you go on a first date, you're gonna be nervous. Let alone someone for four years who you've never met. Yeah. I'm flying to a different city. You could have been a murderer. A I murderer. Have you met you guys on Tinder before? Uh, so next question. What was our first date? The melt. Uh, false. Eh. Where did we go as soon as we landed? Chick fil A. No. Shake Shack. At this moment, you could see my heart had broken. Oh, yeah, Shake Shack. Shake Shack. My heart just shattered in my chest. That was, no, that was a good day because it was like it late was Thursday night. night. Thursday night, like 9 o'clock. Yeah, my flight around. landed. He had practice because he was still, he just graduated from Ohio State and he was on the rugby team. Hey, hey, hey. For all, did you guys hear her? It's the Ohio State. Okay. I'm saying, somebody made It's the Courtney Faith. They made it right. you. Yeah, all right. So, um, when I first landed, I he dropped me off at the house and he left. <laughs> and I was like... I gotta practice. He did go to practice. So, by the time we came home, showered, then we just, like, took a walk on, like, High Street. Mm -hmm. And we saw Shake Shack, and we mm -hmm. went there and got... So romantic. Burgers. Um, and then the next day is when we went on, like, our official date. We went to the Mount for lunch. Mm -hmm. And then for dinner, we went to that lemongrass... Mm -hmm. Sushi, sushi. I could tell our dates we used to be really really low key. And now they're high key. And now she's over here like, yeah, let's get some steak. I'm like, okay, we can do that, but like what happens to Shake Shack? <laughs> um, what was the first thing you noticed about me? Keep a PG on Instagram and then in person. Uh, I think on IG what I noticed is that like I think when you hit me up that day. I was on the road in a different city, mm -hmm. and Lucky. yeah, I was in a hotel. I was like, "Damn, kind of like, this is a new girl." My direct, in my, in my, in my DMs, 
<laughs> you know, you get a new DM, you're like happy, like, ooh, what's this? New, new, new face, new conversation. So I was like in my hotel, like it was like late at night, and like all my other boys in my hotel room were like they're sleeping. But like I was like texting you, like DMing you. I was kind of like happy. I was kind of kind of geek, like man, like like I, I know I needed to go to bed, but like. like I kept on checking the IG every like five minutes. Oh, she just hit me back up. She hit me back up yet? Um, so, I mean, it was just kind of a good um, initial first like you know conversation with you. Um, and I first saw you in person. I mean, I mean, as I'm speechless right now. That's how it was when I first saw you. Just... So the first time I saw Mike on Instagram. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It was just let's get hot here. Mm. It was just mm. um the first picture he had on his page was like him at the gym, mm. you know, shirtless mm. and um he just has a really nice complexion, caught my eye. Mm. Um I saw like a group photo of all of their friends mm. and my eye went straight to him. Mm. Um, in person, I will say, I the first thing I noticed was his height. Uh, in his pictures, he does look a little shorter. Um, just because his friends are very, very tall. And, like, his height is pretty average. And at this moment, you can see his heart breaking. Love you, but I'm just being honest. So, in group pictures, compared to his friends, he just looked tiny. So, I assumed his friends were, like, six foot, where he might be, like... Five eight or something. Um, meeting him in person, the first thing I did notice was how significantly taller he was than me. I mean, I'm five three. Um, he's six foot. So yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. Of you. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't hurt your feelings. <laughs> um, okay, so I had a lot of thoughts in my head, but she said keep it, keep it keep a uh, PG because you know. Mom and dad may be watching, so. Mom and dad will be watching. Yes, keep yes. PG. Okay, but it looks love so you, funny. mom. Yeah, you do love and James and Luke. That is the biggest thing you've learned from being with me. Patience. <laughs> Very much patience. That's that's like a no brainer. Just patience, you know. My way of thinking is like a lot different, different. than the normal person. It is. I'm like I could probably get into a car accident, God forbid. But I'm saying a really bad thing that happened to me, I could turn I could really flip a switch and be the most happiest person. So Sometimes with her, she can have a lot of down moments, which is just normal. But just being patient with you and just kind of like, you know, working with you. But, I mean, that's anything in life, though. The biggest thing I've learned in this relationship is, I think, what it's like to be in a healthy relationship. No shade or tea, but my previous relationships in the past um, just haven't been the healthiest. And uh, starting this relationship with Mike... I would always like act how I did my old relationships and he taught me very quickly that that is not healthy and that is not how a relationship should be. Um, and so he taught me how to, for a relationship to be healthy and strong. And now I'm, I'm good. In your opinion, what does the future hold for us? The question is so broad. It is. And it's like... I know we're going to have a great relationship and I like a great future because like we have so much fun together. Like we love to travel. We have a lot of like summer hobbies, you know, trying new foods and we just get along so well. We just have such a good time together and I just know if we've already been together for a year and it's been this great, like how much better it's going to be um, when we finally live in the same state and it's just going to be great because distance is hard. Distance... There's no bueno at all. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? Uh, <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I just like looking at you. <laughs> I feel like every time you do your makeup, it's like, I get... I it, never wear makeup anymore. It, no, it's kind of like, I am blown away every time. Like, mm. But yeah, keep going. This is, sucks and it's hard and, you know, maybe that's something that we can touch on in future videos and talk about, you know, how distance is and how to deal with it and you know how each relationship can get stronger with this and we can do a different video on that topic and see what you guys want to know about distance relationships because i know nowadays with social media long distance relationships are a lot more common and that could be like a really good video you think i agree i love awesome. it let um, me know down in the comments below if you guys want to see more of yes. mike 
give yes. a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, also, please make sure that you guys communicate with me through social media, like Instagram, TikTok. Uh, do you have something to say? I think you're gonna say like and subscribe. Cause I know Carmel always says like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. Okay, moving on. So I'm gonna go ahead and link my last video up here in this corner, talking about why I left YouTube and why I'm back and what I'm gonna do to change for you guys. Um, I will link all of our social medias down in the description box below. You know my Instagram is right here at the Courtney Faith and TikTok, and his social media is. The Michael Cortang. No, I'm kidding. It's just Michael Michael Cortang. That's it. Um, you're not going to spell that right, so I'm going to put it down there. Um, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit that little bell notification down in the corner so I can know that you guys like the content that I'm producing for you. Don't forget to subscribe. That's everything, right? That's it. That's it. Y'all have an amazing day. Yes, have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for getting through this video. If you made it to the end, drop a palm tree emoji down in the comments so Ooh, I can know you're watching. Cool. I like that one. High five. Um... Also, I don't have many subscribers to do shout outs on my channel, but if you do post my YouTube channel to your story and tag me, I will give you a shout out on my Instagram. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Love y'all. Bubba kiss. Peace, y'all.